Hello? David? Yeah? This is Kitty Graham calling. How are you doing, Kitty? Oh, hello, David. I love you, Kitty. Hello, there you are. Oh, hello. It's nice. Golly, it's just like yesterday. Yes, you sound good. Well, I'm, I was scared to call you. Really? I've been hours trying to build up the courage. I hope I haven't... Uh -huh. Oh, no. No, as a matter of fact, I was just watching the news, and I just fall, fell off to sleep a little bit. Oh, really? But I'm all right. Hello. Yes. Well, of course, James has been calling, so, uh, and that seems to be moving along. He's getting a grip on things. He, the last I talked to him, uh, he's getting more, more ability. You know, I mean, he, that was an explosion he had there. And uh, I, I, I'm... It sort of brought us back together. Uh -huh. So you moved all right into your house. Well, uh, it brought us back together, and then we're having the same problem. He's having a girl problem, and I'm having a boy problem. Oh, really? My brother Bill. Oh, no. Yeah, well, it's the same type of thing we've had all along, in a way. I mean, yes, my, my, and so anyway, I've, I've, I've been devastated by my feelings of, uh, uh, well, I guess, what should I, I, I don't want to think about it too much, but anyway, uh, we went into this house together, and we did fine during the summer, working together, you know, doing jobs, and, uh -huh. and uh, putting the bus in the front yard, and painting it, and making a patio, and the garden, uh -huh. and then inside the house, you know, cleaning it, and doing the floors over, I spent all my money for everything here, uh -huh. and, uh, and then uh, everything deadline on Halloween because I had a housewarming Halloween costume party uh -huh. with a few friends. There were eight. Uh -huh. And it was a very good party. We had a lovely time. And then I woke up the next day and it was all over. It was uh -huh. I just, uh, uh, and I couldn't do Christmas cards. I have barely taken care of myself. Uh -huh. Well, I remember, remember a year ago you had an awful flood there. Oh, well, no, there's nothing of that nature here that's a problem. Oh, oh. No, no, no. We, I catch my rainwater in the backyard, you know. Oh. And it's not, it's, it's very dry this winter. We've had few rains. Oh, very good. But anyway, uh, now how are you? Well, very good. I'm just wonderful. I'm, I'm, I'm living every day. I have a wonderful schedule. I have uh, sprouts. I eat sprouts and carrot juice every day. And mm -hmm. And uh, I'm, I'm uh, skinny, and, and uh, I, I gained weight for a whole year, but I'm skinny now. Yeah. And, I mean, I... I uh, slimmed down. Slimmed down, yes, because I've got this bicycle, this beautiful bicycle, and i got a, a high-tech speedometer that has a... Uh, it's a computer that has a magnet that flies around in the spokes and goes by this unit, and I drove 1,500 miles last summer on the bike. Oh, 1,500? Just around town, yeah, 11 miles a day. Oh, how nice! Yeah. Get around town on a bike. Oh yeah, and uh, it's been fun. I had listened on my little Walkman, and I m mailed out maps, and you know, just uh, oh. and make recordings, and uh, recordings? and uh, yeah, I'm just having lots of fun. What world subject? Uh, music. I make music, and I and I got a videotape machine, and I make video too. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, that's grand. That's great. What do you video? Well, I've been videoing off the TV, science stuff, and gosh, I've got a little schedule of recording here and there, and I've uh -huh. got some Star Treks and uh, this and that. And, uh, and what are you doing in your archives? Well, I'm honing it. I keep honing it. i got so much to do. I keep making files and the logging things, and oh, gosh, it's... Uh, I know what you mean. It seems like you won't get... Enough life to get it all done. Yeah, uh, and I'm saving all my garbage. I don't throw anything away. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know. You compost and. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm saving it all. For, yeah, I'm making art out of my garbage. Of course. Oh, good. Yeah. And, and James told me that your dad got married. Yes, he got married a little over a year ago good. to a, a, a lady that's as old as my sister. So it's his second daughter. Uh, he's, uh, my father is turning 80 and she's 50. Oh, are they having a good time? <laughs> yes, very good, yes. So they live across the street, so I have the whole house to myself here. Oh, David, isn't that grand? Yeah, that's wonderful. I'm so pleased. Well, I have the whole house here, too, to myself. It's a little house and it's just fine. Yeah. But I have this emotional thing. I, I will, uh, I know I have this emotional 
something that has to do with family that I never saw before because I wasn't around this kind of thing. And it's kind of overwhelmed me. Huh. And it, it, I'm going, I made an appointment to see somebody next, you know, and then I'm an addict. I decided that I'm an addict. And smoking cigarettes and smoking marijuana. Those really? Oh, my dear. I have no vice. Well, I, I, I shouldn't say that. I drink two light beers a day, and but I drink nine cups of coffee in the morning. Really? <laughs> oh, you like it, huh? <laughs> well, I don't know. It, it says nine on the pot, but I don't know if it's really nine or not. You make a full pot and then have it all day. No, I, I make a full pot, and then I drink it, and it's all gone by noon. Oh, well, you drink it all morning. Yeah. Uh -huh. Do you eat anything, too? No. No, I, I have my toast and my, I have fiber, fabulous fiber, it's wonderful stuff, and I eat my vitamins and my orange juice, and then at noon I have uh, uh, my carrot juice, and I have a set schedule, and then at night I have a, a sandwich that I make, the same sandwich every night. Is that right? Really? Uh, really, I, only, with me I make mush in the morning with my fake coffee, it's fake. Oh, yeah. And then, and then at night, all I do, I've got my sandwich things out right now. I'm going to make my sandwich after. But, uh, yeah, Kitty, you won't, you won't believe it. I look exactly the same. I'm just as, just exactly the same as I am. I'm just as I perfect. I mean, no. Oh. <laughs> Can I tell you something? Mm-hmm. When I, when I put this house together, I prayed for someone to help me, some man. And he came along. He was a guy that lived, that was, a, in other words, he was the, the guy down the street's uh, son-in-law. And, and wonderful people because the guy down the street did, always took care of my bicycle so we were old friends and his son-in-law his name is dennis he came along and and he did all these wonderful things here in the house and he was such a fine person and at the i was trying to think of a reward for him and it came up that i got him a, mo, a, ho, a motel room in san francisco three different times for his birthday and his wife's birthday and they went up and had a week and they had a great time. Well, then they went up for the Dickens Fair. Oh. And, they, and, I, and I told them, go find Howard Hamburg and uh, ask him a question about Holly and tell him that you helped me put my bus in the front yard. And he did. And, and it was great because he told Howard that, he, you know, he, that he'd like to work there. And Howard said, well, here's the address. And he gave me the address right to me here. Oh. So he wrote right away and, and he said he wants to wants to be a Howard's walking guard. He's the perfect person for all the things he wanted to do and start in the garbage detail. Oh, my dear. And at the next Southern Fair. Oh, my dear. Well, uh, yeah, uh, you know, I haven't kept up with this at all. Now, I, I uh, met a long, long time ago. It's been way over, maybe a year, two years now. I haven't talked with my friend Tom Fabriano, but he mentioned to me that Howard Hamburg went to work for the Est people. The what people? EST, EST, you know, that ever heard of seminars training? Yes, yes. But uh, uh, evidently... Dennis brought back a, uh, what he told me about, De about Howard. Howard was running around with a camera that day photographing the fair. And, and he was really right up front, just wonderful, having a grand time. Oh. And with the same perfect self. Only he's really inspired. Oh. And he has a new wife, you know. Oh, really? Well, that's some years ago. Um, he got a, a wife in the Caribbean, and she's great. Hmm. She ke she fights off, uh, she keeps all the other women off of him in a way that the two of them are really powerful. Huh. And, and they're, they're, you know. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, now that I have, do you remember Billy Scudder? Uh-huh. They tell me that he is the, or they, they tell me that I heard that he is the, uh, he is the, uh, the uh, I, uh, the IBM uh, 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 oh uh, who's the the comedian uh, yeah the, you know the the famous silent screen star that does the IBM ads. Oh, I don't know anything about television, but do you mean Marceau Marco or is that Frenchman? No, no, no. I mean, the fame uh, Charlie Chaplin. He, you know, you see TV and Charlie Chaplin advertises IBM. I have no television. I don't know. Oh, well, there's been these commercials for years that have, for years now, I see these IBM commercials with a little Charlie Chaplin as a part of the ad, and they tell me that's Billy Scudder doing the ad. Oh, I see what you mean. You mean he's doing the ad? He's, yeah, he's playing Charlie Chaplin in these ads for IBM, and it's been going on for years and years and years. Job. Well, yeah, my father said he, this, the guy who plays him must make a million, and I read in this, uh, in this, uh, uh, Walter Scott's personality parade in Parade Magazine that uh, they asked who plays that, and that said in, in Walter Scott's personality parade it was an actor by the name of Billy Scudder. That's grand! Oh, I 
And he's finally got a job. Well, it's been going on for years. Oh, I'm so pleased to hear that. Oh, I'm so proud. And, and uh, Merrifield, Edward Merrifield, sent me something about November, um, or even earlier, about a show he was going to be putting on in Pacific Palisades in December. Uh -huh. Of his works, and it was a beautiful brochure, and he changed his first name to something American Indian. Oh. And it's, I have it on my memory or on my hand. Well, you would think it would be Egyptian rather than Indian. Maybe it was Egyptian. Maybe, maybe it was. I, it's, uh, maybe it is. Maybe it is. Yeah, because there was Isis and Ishtar and all that, you know. Exactly, it probably is. Uh, I, I haven't, I only, you know, I can't put my hand on it. Uh -huh. uh, but I'll let you know. Very good. Well, hello. It's nice to swap some news, isn't it? Yeah. Well, let me think of some more if I can think of it. I haven't, I've been totally away from... Well, well... Well, uh, yeah. Yeah, I've been here in Manchester. I haven't been out of town for ages and ages. Uh -huh. uh, as a matter of fact, ever since I had that bad eclipse trip, that was the last time I was away from Iowa. But, uh, uh, and I was thankful for that because, uh, well, it, it was a long story. I don't want to go into it. Anyway, I am here and I'm happy and I'm working and busy and healthy. So healthy, I can't stand how healthy I am. Oh, how swell. <laughs> oh, how swell. Oh, that's just red. It's going to inspire me, David. Wonderful. I see that kind of inspiration to see the example you're setting. And I've got to tell you something else about your example. Uh, I don't know, maybe five years or four years ago or something, back when I lived at 333 Chestnut, and now I live at 136 Toledo. But anyway, I got at Christmas time, after I put out my Christmas cards that year, I started making cards, and I probably mentioned to you, and starting a game. Oh, yeah, the color game. The color game. Yeah. And that has been something that is... Uh, what I'm going to be able, when I get on my feet here, I want yeah. to really develop that here. Yeah, well, you know, now, that I mentioned to you, I think, way back when, uh, an article about color and uh, what you like and what you don't like, and, uh, uh, and it was from a magazine, and it was Pathfinder Magazine was the name of this magazine. I mentioned to you. You mentioned it. I think you said a copy. Well. No, but I, I trying to hunt for one. I, it's around here somewhere, and I have these little cards with colors on it that tell the tell all about what people like and dislike according to their color. And uh, but I've never find out. There was some girl that I met a long time ago that talked about what you wear, the colors that you wear during a day, even underneath, like in underwear, or your stockings, your has some bearing on. Oh, of course. Way I, I, I pick my clothes very definitely with the color coordinates. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, right now I'm wearing navy blue and red. Oh, well, let's see. I've got some navy blue on. i got jeans on. Oh, okay. <laughs> good. Well, it's cold here. Uh, yeah, well, it's, it's sort of, we're, we're expecting a big snowstorm, a five inches of snowstorm for between midnight and noon tomorrow. Oh. And, but it was hotter today. It was 36 today, but we've had a very mild winter today. The last two winters have been very bad, but this winter has been very, fairly light. Well, you know, it's the same weather you were describing here, except that with, with like, uh, we had uh, some rain go through last night a little bit, and, and we're expecting a storm tonight at midnight. Mm -hmm. And it was warm today. So, you know? Yeah, I don't know. Well, that's the way, way it is, and James uh, barely knows what the weather is. But, uh, uh, <sighs> anyway. Uh, yeah, I got it. Are you, can you ever, have you ever seen it at sunset? When, can you see a sunset where, the, where you really see the, the, the sun go past the horizon? Well, I have a couple times here and there. I did in the airplane during one eclipse trip. I saw the green flash and everything. That's what I was going to ask you. You saw the green flash and everything. Yeah, I saw that. I just saw that recently with a friend of mine, a girlfriend. Uh-huh. And, uh, yeah, I remember having nice sunsets on the ocean there, uh -huh. seeing the sun drop down. All right. Well, then we share that, too. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Me, 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 me. Oh, dear. Oh, we had so many wonderful times. Yeah, yeah. Just think of it. Well, uh, uh, next year will be our uh, eclipse anniversary. Remember? Ten years ago, we were, we were in Winnipeg. Remember that? Oh, oh well, well, well. February of, uh, no, no, so it'll be, it's nine years now. Yeah. That was 79, it was, wasn't well, it? I, yeah. I, I think that when I saw the first eclipse from the boat, it was like looking in God's eye, the pupil of his eye. Uh -huh. And then when I looked at the one in, in Winnipeg, near Winnipeg in Canada with you guys. Brandon, Manitoba. Brandon, yeah. Manitoba. It, it looked like it was his ass. 
I did not look like an eye. It did not have any reflection. No, we had that, uh, that little red spot on the side there, and I can just see the clouds and the lights there, and the big and all our park is on. Canada? In Canada? In Canada, yeah. Uh, the red spot, but then the black was black. It was The black was just black. It was sort of a grayish black. Mm -hmm. It was a black part, and, and but the one in the ocean was brilliant and vibrating so intensely. Yeah, well, we had all that water and all those clouds and stuff around. And, yes, yes, that was beautiful. But they were so different. Yeah. Gosh, when, I, when you first came on the phone, I thought you were my sister. You sounded just like my sister. Oh, good. Oh, good. Very oh, well, good. You wanted to answer the phone quick. Yeah, I was right here. I was uh, I was watching the news, and the and I had my little fires dying out. And, I, and this is my bedtime. I go to bed at 10 o'clock every night. This is 10 o'clock. And I get up at 7. Well, I actually don't get up. I listen to the news and the radio for 15 minutes, and then I get up. I have this schedule. I, it's, I, every day, it's just exactly the same. Everyone's joyful. Yeah. Every day's fun, huh? Yep. yep. That's so good. That's, that's the rhythm. You keep that rhythm. I know the rhythm, but I'm not in it yet right now. I fell out. But I'm going to get back into it because I know it's there. Yeah, I have all these little projects, tons of little projects here and there. and. Uh -huh. And uh, it just keeps going on and on and on. I know. But I've got my house set up so that every place has its own project. You do too. Right. Oh, yeah, I have areas for everything, yeah. Of areas yeah. for everything, yes. Yes, and you have that whole house to yourself. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, just, do you love it? Oh, I love it. I can't stand how I love it. It's oh. just, I just go from area to area all the time. And, and your doing... father knows that you do, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're all together. Yeah, yeah, I built a bookcase last week. Beautiful bookcase. Fantastic shelves. I'm looking at it right now. I haven't got your maps up. I haven't opened them yet. Oh, really? Well, they're very exciting and archival. They're very valuable. They're, they're extremely valuable. There are not very many of them left. Well, I got them out of my out of my Primo Rivera stock. <laughs> that's why I'm being very careful what wall I put them on because the other one faded and I don't want this one to be. Yes, yeah, well I remember. That's why I remember that's that. That's why I'm going to be very. I have all my walls here, but I'm. I'm yeah. And you know that one that 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 heavy duty one you know is uh, is untrimmed on the edges. I left extra room there so that you could, you know you 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 wrote on the edges of them you know on the on the sides. And uh, I thought that would you'd like that a lot because it's got it's that heavy rag paper and you can use that for writing and it's very substantial paper. See, there's the heavyweight one and then there's that light blue bluish dark bluish one there. Are you sending? Are you selling many maps? Well, the comet was really something. I re the, it uh, increased a lot over the comet, and then when the comet tailed off, the maps tailed off. <laughs> yeah. So. To me, 1986 was the year of, the, of Haley's comet. Oh yeah. Because I got a letter every day from God, it, it, and then they stopped on Halloween. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, of course, I made money on Comet Cohotec too, uh -huh. uh, uh, way back when it was, that was '74. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> And you made enough of it to, to, to make it your next eclipse trip. Oh, isn't it wonderful how you've done these trips? <laughs> Well, well, are you planning any? Well, I, oh, I hope the 1991 one, either in Mexico or whatever. I thought it was the Philippines in 99. That my book says. Well, there is a Philippine one, but 1991 is in the, near the Hawaiian Islands, and then, uh, but well, that. That's what I mean, the one that says Philippines in my book. Well, no, that's earlier than 1991. The Philippine ones comes on earlier. No. The one I'm thinking about anyway. 1991 is the one I, years ago, I, I, I sort of wanted to go to that one. Yeah, well, uh, Mexico, Guadalajara, Mexico will have it, and uh, and it'll be seven minutes, so that'll be a real long one, you know. So that's a definite must. Ah, good. And, uh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's a good plan. Put it far off enough that way. <laughs> and, and then we can really make a, a, a yeah. party, you and James and I and whoever else comes along. Yeah. Oh, yeah, how about Christina? I don't know. She sent me a letter from Colorado once wanting her a star map, but I sent her some info, but she never got back well, to her. her marriage broke up, and, and, and uh, she, she had a whole lot of tragedies. She was here a, a year ago this time, and, and uh, she was uh, a totally different person, dr uh, drugs. Huh. She had, uh, she had some kind of, and the marriage, she, you know, the whole thing was ruined, and, and anyway... Uh, the little one, Tobin? No. Yes, but but she she was sleeping with him. He's he's what seventeen, and she's sleeping with him, and it's it, it was so repulsive. 
And at any rate, Tobin's back in Malibu, and she's up in Oregon with her mother. Oh. And, and her mother is glad. He's 17. Now, isn't that something? I can still see him as a little... Well, that's, I can't yeah. remember. Yeah. And did you know that Terry Lee's brother, John, uh, who had the, the leg... Right. Him? He died, yes. You, did you know that? Oh, no. Oh, yes, some years ago. Oh, did he? Oh, there was a, uh, a memorial and, and a large... Terry Lee wrote me briefly of it at the time, but I could see that... How did that happen? I mean, he had the... It was still a cancer yes. kept up, huh? I don't know how it happened. She... she I don't know those things. Those are things that, that eventually she will reveal. Oh. oh. But, but she's unstable herself right now. Hmm. She married and went to Hawaii and then came back. And, uh, you know, I hear from her long... 18-page letters every five years, you know, or something. Uh -huh. And, uh, but, uh, and I gotta, but, you know, it's okay, it's, and Celeste is going to college, and, uh, she's, she's been doing that for some years now, and very happy with doing that. Mm. And I think she's gonna find herself, and right. that kind of thing, you know. Very good, very good. But, but Christina, really, when she was here, uh, she was, no, she was a bad deal in the sense of uh, that's how she was living her life right then. Huh. And um, so she's not here. She, she she had to leave on the third day of May last year. Oh. And she left. Well, well, well. Hmm. Well, so anyway, your little David is here all the time. I'm, do, uh, I'm just... <laughs> Oh no no, me. I'm I'm I need little David. <laughs> oh oh yes, yes, little is not. No, yeah, I uh, I have my buggy now. Yeah, yeah. I have I have my buddy next door, a 19 year old cat, Morris, oh, really? a pretty cat. Yeah, he's terrible arthritis, but he's uh, he's my friend. Ah, and he lives next door. He lives next door. He's lived next door all his life. Oh, any visits? Oh yeah, he comes over and he demands to be petted, and I pet, and then when he wants me just to stop petting, he hisses at me. <laughs> well, I have two cats now. Uh, the one you remember, the mother cat. Uh, she's been with me, Pussy, the black kitty. Uh -huh. She, she, uh, all of her children are gone, but now she found a, a, a fellow she liked, and he lives with us, Tiger. Oh. And uh, he's a nice cat too. He's a very smart cat. Oh. And uh, he is. Right now, he wants to go out the front door, but he can wait a minute. <laughs> And someday you will come here to this house? Yeah, just think, gosh, I haven't been away from here since... I don't even... I'm afraid, almost. I don't know. I'm, I have all my projects and schedules and everything. I hope I can, hope I can maintain my rhythm to be able to go somewhere. No, you aren't planning on going anywhere, are you? No, no, no. I'm just planning... No, I just... I'm totally... And I've got all my... I, my, my sprouts, I got the rhythm on those. I never run out, and I never run out of carrot juice. I make my carrot juice. I have this... Champion okay. juicer. Champion juicer. Champion juicer, right? Buy one. Oh, it's fantastic. I it's, love them. Uh, but I never knew which one to buy. The champion juicer, no question about it. Thank you so much. Champion. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's the juicer of juicers. Uh, any particular model? No, there's only one. Well, it's the. Uh, it's the. They have a gigantic one, but I have the regular okay. consumer one. Yeah, the standard one. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sure. It's got a big, huge motor on it. All and right. uh, I just whip the carrots right through there. It takes me longer to clean the carrots than it does to make the juice. Oh. You know, I, have to, I, I cut the tips of the ends off, and then I scrub them with a brush, and then I rinse them off, and and then uh, put them through the juicer. It's just perfect. All right. I, I think it's a very good time to be staying at home these days, and, and it's good that you're so into it, and... and Oh, it's encouraging me, David. Thank you so much. I have all my little projects, and I hope you have your projects, too. And I, one of these days, I'll find these color things. I know the area they're in, and uh, I just have to paw through the stuff. But there was this old magazine article. It had uh, the colors represented by different geometrical shapes, and then these little cards that had the the colors and the statements about them. Oh, I like the fact that you say the geometrical shapes and so forth, because that's something I, I have no knowledge of. And, and my knowledge is limited, but I know I'm into a grand field. Yeah. Well, I, I, I know that I have a drawer, and I have everything by year, and I'll go into that drawer. Some, some time. Well, I found some, a clipping in the newspaper, a, com, a comic thing that I 
flipped out just today, and it's an Unger. Do you know Unger, the cartoonist? In the comic, in the paper? No. U-N-G-E-R? He's, 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 he just does stunning. Uh, his hmm. pen work is so beautiful. I save comics. I mean, oh, I comics out of the newspaper, I, I save those. Well, I'm going to send this one to you. Oh. Because, you. because I clipped it out to send it to you. Oh, very good. So, I mean, I don't know when, David. I haven't, I can't well, That's move. all right. No, no, don't worry. I'm, I'm always here. I'm always, uh, I'm just uh, going and going and going. I know. I'm, I'm so pleased that you are because that's what I want to be here because that's how I'm set up to be. I have a, a, I have a bedroom that I call my closet because it's all so wonderful with these colored clothes in there. It's where I do a lot of experimenting with, co with colors, is with, with putting clothes on, and then I see what does, what colors do with each other. Mm -hmm. You know, in different tones of them, and I have an immense number of clothes to do this with. Yeah. My bedroom's a closet, and it's, it's wonderful because I don't even sleep in there. I sleep in the living room, as it's called, but it's, oh. but it's not. It's, it's my everything room, oh. and, and it's where I am right now. And and it's 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 it, I have it divided into four rooms. It's not all that big, but I've got it divided. It doesn't matter. It's how you do things, huh. you know. And yeah. and it's it's a and then I have this whole kitchen and and the and the table and it's it's lovely, you know. Great. And a shed out back where I've got everything that's stowed away just perfectly that isn't cluttering up the house, you know. Uh -huh. And then the bus out in the front yard. I have a little backyard where I'm where it's just fine. And and the and the front yard I have the, the bus and then lovely fence that Dennis built, mm. and uh, 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 the fence is, is made out of bamboo, you know, huh. thin bamboo you might have seen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, any, anyway, it's, it's just lovely, and, and the whole thing, the fence, and the post, and the inside and the outside of the bus, and everything to do with the bus is painted either silver or gray. Oh. All of it is that new. Oh. Very good. High tech. Very. <laughs> my furniture and my bedding and everything in there is silver. You know, you said Dennis. I don't know who that is, but you know, uh, we have cable here. Huh? We have cable, uh -huh. cable TV, yeah. and uh, I just have the basic cable. But uh, they gave uh, people here a week of free Disney Channel. You know, and for a whole week, uh, I mean, uh, the Disney Channel always has this on, but every day at three o'clock they rebroadcast all the old. Uh, Mickey Mouse Clubs, you know, and during the week it was on, I recorded them off the video, and I've got Dennis Day. Oh, nice. I've got him acting and announcing I'm, my name is Dennis and everything. Uh-huh. The old Mickey Mouse Clubs. Oh, how swell. Yeah. Oh, that's just keen. I see how you, say you have a good schedule. Well, it's your time to go to bed now. Oh, yeah. It's, I'm 15 minutes late, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, my schedule's off. I'm going to go eat dinner. Oh, that's right. It's only, it's early. It's two hours earlier well, there. So. It's 15. Oh, my dear. But anyway, it's so good at, and so just ordinarily fine to talk with you. Yeah. I think you've done for me what I needed in this house. God, you know, I... And I have, you know, for years and years at the Renaissance Fair, I'd wear those old uh, leather spats over my tennis shoes. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, uh, I, you know, I, well... Well, father and my, me and my sister made many trips, we haven't for years now, to Aspen, Colorado in the summer to hear the music. Mm -hmm. And the uh, the leather moccasin makers from the Renaissance Fair have a shop there uh -huh. in Aspen. And I finally, after I finally broke through with my map sales, I broke down and bought a pair of moccasins from them. Oh. Knee-high moccasins, and then the next year I brought a pair of five-button ones, the smaller ones. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I ever come out and go to the Renaissance Fair again, I'll be properly dressed. And I finally got a pair of, of uh, tights that have built-in suspenders that I don't have to wear suspenders. Oh, I've got my costume. It's just perfect. I, I'm just as, I, my costume is just as sharp. When I went to Australia, I wore it in Australia. I wore it in, in Indonesia, too. David, I'm swell. <laughs> yeah. oh, and there were video people there. They videoed me with three-quarter inch videotape. Oh, did you have a copy? No, I don't have a copy of it. No, I don't. But you know, in my travels of selling maps with my uh, going around, I uh, developed an act, and I have six songs that I sing in a 30-minute act and oh, with great. comedy and everything. Yeah, yeah. And we videoed that. I have copies of that. But uh, I did it in the uh, uh, comedy clubs in Los Angeles. James came to one of them uh, at the at the Improv. Mm -hmm. 
and I just floored him. I did these jokes and uh, did it on Aspen TV, and uh, and I attacked people with the Holiday Inn uh, saunas and jacuzzis. You know, I, I said, "Can I sing a song for you?" And then I start entertaining, and then I go into the open mics in the in the uh, lounges. You know, and I was a hit. Yeah, they, you know, they, they it was just great. I know, I know, it's wonderful. And uh, you sang that that song one time for me, and I I just I floated on that song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have a whole bunch more. I have okay. six more. Well, it will happen, but it will happen. 1991 seems like a good time to sort of, because I'm, I've got my next Renaissance costume. I have one closet here that's just the, the color scheme. There's the colors of magenta and, and uh, aqua. <laughs> I wonder how the fair is doing these days. I never hear anything of it anymore, well, you know. Well, the Dickens Fair was, was, the, was where I sent this guy, Dennis, oh. who worked for me, uh -huh. and who was there for met Howard and is going to go to the next fair. Where do they have it now? The, the same place. In, same places. Not the old warehouse. Oh, you mean in San Francisco? Yeah. Oh, it's one of the piers. Oh, oh, a pier, a yeah. Pier. I see. And, and uh, they have, a, he, he, he brought me a brochure and, you know, of the maps, you know, the maps mm -hmm, they have. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's just like they always do, you know. And they have the same Renaissance fair up north. Uh-huh. Gosh, I haven't been to one, you know, since when it was at 79. That's almost 10 years. I, I, haven't... I know. Well, I went to one in the north since uh, about, about 82 or 3. And had a grand time. Uh -huh. Sylvia was, I uh, worked at her booth, Sylvia, who, who was from Ag uh, Agora. Sylvia, who had the, the place in town where you ate the Mexican food. And she had a uh, fruit booth in the Renaissance Fair. Uh -huh. Well, I worked in her booth. And she's doing, all these people are doing very well. She's got a catering service in Thousand Oaks now. Uh -huh. And she still works at the fairs. And her son, her son little boy, to uh, Tony, who was uh -huh. the age. Yeah, I wonder if they ever, do they ever say, I wonder where the star man is? They probably do. We all talk about it. Well, you know, did you ever see that movie, The Star Man? I finally rented the video cassette, you know? And guess what? The star man rides in the guy and he says, what do you do? And he says, I'm a map maker. Oh. I always thought that was my title. But it's my license plate now. I have my license plate as SkyMap. Oh, S K Y M A P. That's my license number. That's how you have it on one of your maps too, SkyMap. Right. Uh, the one you. Star Sky, SkyMap. I have it in all ways. I cover all the bases. Well, you said it, it's 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 a movie called what was that? Starman. It's a TV series too now. Starman. Starman. Yeah. It was about this alien that came and changed the shape and and so on. It, it was a hit movie a couple of years ago. But uh, I finally rented the video cassette and saw it. And he could hitchhikes and they asked him what he does and he said it was a Starman. And of course, William Shatner and, uh, uh, says in his Star Trek movies, you know, that he's from Iowa too. You know, and there's a little town in Iowa that has claimed him as the future birthplace of Captain Kirk. Oh, wow. <laughs> how darling. Yeah. That's sweet. I mean, that, that is sweet. Well, I have this girlfriend who rents videos all the time, and I'm going to get her to get this this, uh, this star man's video and look at it with her. This girlfriend works at the university here. Uh-huh. And... and uh, and, and we do a lot of things. Yeah, it, uh, it stars uh, Jeff Bridges. He's the star man in it. Yes, yes. And they, uh, they actually filmed uh, from Wisconsin. They uh, they filmed the part of this movie in Iowa, going through Iowa. Oh. Okay. I don't know if you can tell it in the video or not. But anyway, uh, we're here. Yes. Well, you better go to bed. Okay, I will. I love you, Kitty. Oh. Good. I love you, David. Yeah. I know you love me. You I sound so clear and beautiful. Gosh, I guess. You're inspiring me. I feel, I feel like a person again. Uh, really? I'll, I'll just have to see how this goes for me. It's wonderful. Everything sounds... Your voice sounds so smooth. Really? Smooth and hey. creamy and just wonderful. Well, James said I wasn't gruff enough. And I, I don't know quite what he means, but I... Think no, but your voice sounds so beautiful. I can't understand it. I mean... <laughs> no, there's no... Well, my hair is gray, and, and, and I, I, my, I have terrible bags under my eyes from smoking marijuana. Oh, dear. I have to go... To, I'm going to an alcoholic... I mean, uh, narcotics anonymous this Friday night. And uh, because I, I, I want to get some kind of... I, I got to get off of this. Huh. Yeah, well, you know, if I, I can't do it, I don't do it. I, you don't I, do it anymore? Oh, no, I don't. I'm no vices at all, no. David, I'm wonderful. Except my two beers a day. I have two light beers and this oh, coffee. That's what I want. That 
I mean, I don't need the beers, but I love, I have my own drinking water. That's what I do. Oh. My water is so good. Very good, very and, good. And, you know, I just get it right out in the backyard. In my buckets, in pots and pans, and I always buckets. And then I filter it in the kitchen and put it up in all these jars and buckets. Mm. And, and I have all these places I store it away. Mm. I have my little vitamins in little bottles like you did, you know, but having them little black film containers, you know, those little black film containers. Oh, yes, yes, and I do my vitamins just religiously. I, I, I've got to let the cat out now. Okay. Yeah, don't let her go. Okay, well, I love you. Be happy. And uh, and here we are. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> here we are. All right, till next time. Okay. Okay, good night. Bye-bye. Hello? Hi, David. Hi. Donahue is all about touching me. If that's what you need, you need somebody to hug. Yeah, you're right. Hello. Hello. Uh, it's like being possessed by a demon. Yeah. Kitty called last night. Oh, she did. Yeah, she talked. We talked for over a half hour. Very good. She sounded very good. Yeah, I, I agree. She sounded really sweet and wonderful. Yeah, I know. I What is this, Jesus? Just what I said. The whole show here is untouching. You got to touch. Yeah, I know. Go, go to work and, and hug everybody when you get there. <laughs> okay. Really? Yeah. Uh, how did I get so hung up with this one, David? I don't know, but I. Uh, 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 touch, touch. I don't know. I actually, I think you missed the dog. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, blowing out and sleeting out. It's just a terrible, gray, awful day here. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Uh, the only thing I can think of is that she's probably constantly, constantly thinking of me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Oh, that's a uh, yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, it's six o'clock there. Yeah, that's right. The lines are open. Yeah. Yeah, Kitty. She was. Uh, she says she has to go to Alcoholics Anonymous. I mean, she's uh, not alcoholic, but she says she's smoking and uh, smoking pot all the time. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me think. Oh, she talked about Howard Hamburg and about that kid that whose father was the mayor of San Bernardino died. The kid that had cancer. And uh, oh, and that uh, Tobin is 17 years old now, and he sleeps with Christina. She says, "Oh, it's awful." She said. <laughs> Christina, she says she's gone off the deep end too, and drugs and stuff. And then moved up to living with her mother in Oregon. And so, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, she went on and on. She called just before the lines went out. She called 10 minutes to 10 last night. Oh, the lines went out? No, no, no. Uh, Why? You said the lines, just before the lines went out. No, well, no, yeah, my... Just before I went to bed, I mean. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> before the light went out, I mean. <laughs> oh, now, oh, now they've got this naked guy on the screen, and he, he's, she's going to massage him. Oh. The, they should call up a masseuse. That might help you. <laughs> anyway. Um, hmm. I'm sending an electrical charge right through your brain. This is all Donna here has talked about just energizing you with hands on her back. Yeah, no, but really, I guess that's what you need. And then there's something in the paper here about your problem. Let's see, what is it? Oh, no, it was on earlier in the morning news about stress or about, uh, 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 well, I mean, the touching helps that, but about being feeling negative all the time. You should think about any time that you're positive during the day or would be like uh, any happy little moment and say, well, you see, it isn't bad all the time, and, and that somehow helps. These are little clusters of nerves. They go right up the so everybody must have problems. It's there's a whole hour and then he was devoted to that today. Press, 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 press. And we do that. I cannot believe it. Keep liberating the 
I'd take it back. And what I would do is I would Well, no, you'll, you'll uh, be together. You have to get your stuff, right, out of her, out of that warehouse or wherever you're storing it. Yeah. That'll be you know, a fun job to hone that all away. Kitty was telling me about all the things. She's got all her rooms and this and that and projects going in different places. And I uh, told her about... I am the master of it, though. Yeah, yeah. But I will be, huh? Yeah. Okay. She mentioned you. She said that you were uh, on top of it all. Yeah, you know, you, you can get involved in somebody else. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I guess you must be. I guess so. We got it from the, oh, she was talking about an eclipse, too, the 1991 that's eclipse. The but she said there was one in the Philippines. Yes, there is one, but that's before that. That's just in a couple of years. Uh -huh. I think it's in 89. <laughs> or 90, I don't know which one. That'll be fun. No, she says she wants to go to the Philippines. I don't want to go to the Philippines. Yeah, Ew. yeah either in a, on a boat to Hawaii or on a boat to Guadalajara. Can everybody do that? That's, that's great. Now, yeah. what will happen here? Yeah, let me see. Who else is? Hello. Oh, she talked about, what's her name? That girlfriend of, of uh, McGregor. Celeste. Celeste. She says she's going to school or something. I don't know. And uh, what else did she say? That her brother, she's ha having brother problems. Says he's gone. And oh, she says she's got her buses out in the middle of the yard, out in front or something. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> doesn't work. I wouldn't think it could go anywhere. And she mentioned colors like black and silver or something like that, or silver and gray or. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Like yeah. Anyway, hello. Good morning, Lisa. I'll report again. I, I guess I'm getting more tape, but. Well, I don't know. I haven't got my. Uh, I, uh, I hope you're going to get some tape. I'm, rec I'm recording, but I'm not compiling, so. Well, I'll just keep. I'll, I'll work, keep working it out. I've been awfully, oh, I got, it has been weak, yeah, I have a back a backache too today, I don't know, that's from sleeping on the wrong side, I had wild dreams last night. Me too. <laughs> too. Yeah. I had a dream about this girl, that was fun. Hmm. But, the butts, huh? Yeah. The uh, Today Show is going to be in Australia all next week. They're having various reports now, send in reports, but they're going to be live all next week from Australia. Down under, yeah. It's, it's bad weather there today. Huh? Where? Here? Oh, yeah. It's very bad, yeah. Okay, well. I hope I can raise myself up in a while and go to work. Very good. Be creative. Yeah. Touch everybody when you get there. Yeah. If it's ever so subtle, you know, just like a stick a little finger up there, whatever. <laughs> you know, anything would work. Okay. Yeah, and make everybody feel better, even just a little slight nudge. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, really. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. 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 Okay, bye-bye, 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 bye-bye. This is the 29th. <coughs> Still looking for a dream home? When you're ready, see us for a home mortgage loan. Farmers and Merchants Bank, time 8-20, temperature 30. This is the morning, by the way. I think I'm going to move the tape ahead, even though there's a minute left here. I, I'm, I'm going to move it ahead so I don't have to get a call cut off. So this uh, tape 58A will now move ahead to side B. Thank you very much.